Welcome everyone for another video and uh, as space mesh is evolving to one end nodes, so we must also evolve how we create our post data. And the easiest way is no doubt using CLI. Let's check it out. Yeah. Why am I recommending using CLI instead of normal nodes? Well, it's because as we evolve to one end, you cannot smash or generate posts using normal nodes. So CLI will be the better option. Also, you don't need a database to start generating posts. It's instant. You put a couple of commands and it starts generating posts. There's no waiting around for nothing. And if you want to expand your post service, CLI will be the only option and also the best. Biggest. So how we do that? Well, first thing you need, of course, will be download the CLI. So Space Mesh OS post, and you can find the latest release. You do need the latest release because old versions won't be able to do this way. So once you got that extracted, you are presented with a few files. All you have to do is open for our shell. And here we go. And do ready. So for testing purposes, I'm going to create a folder here. And I'm going to call it just test. To call it uh, whenever you need it. Sorry, my hard drive is just starting. So this will be my post folder over here. And CLI commands is actually easy. So I already have them set here. And uh, I'm going to go through all this. So the first one will be obviously starting the CLI program. Provided this will be your GPU. So in my case, my graphic cards will be Zoom. So I set to Zoom. Num units, this will be how many units you want to build. If you are new to Space Mesh, one unit equals 64 gigabytes. And you need a minimum of 250 gigabytes to start the post. That means four units. So if you have more, all you have to do is calculate. So for example, I want one terabyte. <laughs> And uh, all you have to do is divide this by 64,000, and it gives you the number of units. So it will be 50. Committed ATX. You do need this. Any ATX will work, but we do recommend for the health of the network using the highest. Yeah. And um, if you already have a node, the best way is using node call. So I'm just going to put my node here. And I'm going to get the highest ATX. Now, the latest version, 1.22, already converts the highest ATX to X. And you do need X version for this. This is X version. So let's see what the highest ATX will be. On the way to that, our website for the Snashy stash. This hasn't been updated in two months. We can still use, we can still use an older ATX. And of course, you have Discord as well that you can ask anybody and anybody will be happy to get the latest ATX. So this is the latest ATX, which I'm going to copy over here. <sighs> And that the deal, this of course will be our test folder. And all you have to do is press enter. And that's it. No, you do not need, so I'm going to cancel this because I'm already generating another one. And uh, I want, what I was going to say is no, you do not need a node ID. As you can see, a brand new ID has been created here for me. And it's pretty much it. 
it's really easy now creating posts using CLI. So I have my no ID in BIS24 format, the committed ATX, also BIS24, label per unit, don't need to touch it, number of units is how many you choose. And of course, max file size will be 4 gigabytes, which I think is a nice size, but you can change this to two or whatever number you want. <laughs> So what if I put the wrong values? And I don't need this anymore. So, yeah. So imagine if uh, I make a mistake and I put, for example, 40 units here. The, C the new CLI will ask me, look, I made a mistake. Are you sure they want to continue with the 40 units? Because it's different from what you get. And you can cancel or you can continue. I'm going to try continue see what happens. And error, of course. <laughs> okay, so now you know how to create post using CLI. I will leave all these commands on the description. And um, I will also leave the community ATX, the highest unknown. And uh, if I remember, I will try. If not, just drop me a comment and I will update the description. Okay, so what about if I want to expand the post service, for example, or not free, but change 16 to 100 new. So the first thing we need to do is to stop the post service. And we're going to do the, exactly the same thing, but a few differences. So if you're not sure uh, of the commands, but it, you can just ask for help. And you have all these little commands. So I'm going to use the same thing we used before, which was this one. Okay. So I'm going to change the folder to remote three. And the ATX obviously cannot use a new one. I need to use the one that's already in it. So this is on Bay 64, but we have a very cool site statssmash.com, they can just fast and convert to X. So this is my current ATX, which I'm going to put over here. And the number of units as well. So I know for some, this is going to throw an L, and I'm going to turn what goes to default. It's four gigabytes. However, I use two gigabytes as you can see here. This is my file size. As you can see, the error found two blah, 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 blah. So this is what I need to use. And this is why I printed the command before, because this is what we're going to use to tell CLI what file size to use. So I'm going to put here max size, the one I was using before. Then press enter, then voila, we started expanding the post. I'm going to cancel this because, like I said before, I'm already creating a post with a GPU. So let's imagine I finished my post, okay? There's an important thing that we need to do, which is find the nouns value. We need the lowest nouns value. And because we are expanding the post, the value is going to change. And at the end of the expansion, we need to force to find the value. And then uh, this is how we're going to do it. like this. So we have post CLI, 
and we put the command search for nails. And obviously, the folder where we want to, to search for nails. And it's just present. Of course, I'm not going to do that because my post is finished. But uh, it present. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it for you guys. Um, there we go. Look for Vieira nails, in fact. So it's just going to read through my whole post, which is one terabyte. And it's going to find the uh, new nouns values. And you need to, to let it finish until you find the lowest possible. So I'm going to let it run a little bit so you guys can see the message. And finally, found some nouns values. Find one, two, six. And this will happen uh, during the process. And it should update your file as well. As you can see here, my previous one is 81, and now change for people. Obviously, we need to let the whole process finish until you have the last ZRI nuts. Okay, and as you can see, CLI search for mouse completed. And this is what you need at the end of the expansion. All that's left to do is start our post service or node and panic what you are using. And that's it. Uh, I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, drop me a comment. And, and uh, I'll see you next time.